All right, y'all, let's get into it. So to, um, somehow today an interview was circulating with Trina um, speaking about who the queen of rap is. Now, apparently this video clip is from October of this year. Here we are in December and someone chose to circulate this online and it went viral today. So, you know, what happened is someone asked Trina, who is the queen of rap? And Trina said, Beyonce. It's the queen of rap. When she raps, she said, when Beyonce chooses to rap, she is a queen of rap every time. But outside of that, of course, you know, there's other people that's uh, number one. But Beyonce has opened a lot of doors for a lot of rappers. So people were going in saying, Beyonce is a singer. She's not a rapper. And who, what rapper has Beyonce opened the door for? And things like that. So they were also speculating that Trina was hanging on Nicki because everyone knows Nicki album dropped this month. And so different things have been coming out with that. And so they're thinking maybe her and Nicki are not friends. And that's why she didn't just say Nicki's the queen of rap because Nicki always claims that she's the queen of rap. Um, so there were a lot of speculation. So Trina then makes a post and says, I said what I said. When Beyonce raps, she is the queen of rap. Now, after that, people start circulating old clips of Jay-Z saying that Beyonce is the first person he's ever heard rap on key. It's like she's singing, but she's actually rapping because she does it so well on key and she blends it so well. So that started circulating. And then someone has put together a compilation video where of over the years of how Beyonce's rapping on beat, which sounds like singing, has been happening since her no, no, no days, bills, bills, bills days. So they put the year in the song and you can watch it go from there. And so... All of that to say, first, when Trina was asked, who is the queen of rap that has opened a lot of doors for other people? Beyonce is, if you had to label her, you would label her a singer. And you would say she is the queen of that because of her awards that she's won. She's the most awarded uh, singer. She's um, one of the most awarded celebrities, period, across all things. And so that people would have understood but when they say hey what is who is the queen of rap that's let others in she even the intriguing part is she didn't even name herself now trina's been a rapper for several years i mean i think i was in elementary school when she was first putting out songs so she's probably probably close to 50 or her late 40s and so for her she's been rapping that long for her to not be able to say you know and first why would the person ask her that ask a rapper who is the queen of rap that's all let a lot of people in why would you ask a rapper that like she is someone that has been in the rapping industry for so many years probably 25 30 years so why wouldn't trina be her own answer so that's something kind of one off was like if she if someone asks a rapper who is the queen of rap and the and you and who has let other rappers in the door supported them you would think trina would say herself but she didn't she said beyonce all right so now on the other hand Beyonce, I, see, I can see why Trina is a huge Beyonce fan if you follow her. So she just probably was just, she's probably just fanned out. Like just Beyonce is this, Beyonce, Beyonce is the, the queen of cooking. Beyonce is the queen of tennis shoes. Beyonce the queen of houses. Like to Trina, Beyonce may be the queen of everything. But everyone is, is pretty used to Nikki calling herself the queen of rap. So that is why I think people, whatever kind of say panties got in a bunch kind of got upset or they had some some words like what is trina talking about now there's other clips that started circulating as well where um people were showing old clips of beyonce herself saying that nikki is the queen of rap multiple times on multiple different interviews on stages while she was performing with Nicki. So Beyonce has always called Nicki the queen of rap. So in all of that to say, some people thought maybe Nicki and Trina's not getting along because at one point, Nicki shouted Trina out plenty of times and said how supportive Trina is. And they even have a song or two together. So um, 
it just was kind of, I guess it kind of blindsided people. They, she didn't give the answer they thought. Now, everybody's entitled to their own thoughts, obviously. So her saying, Trina saying that, Nikki, is, I mean, Trina, Trina saying that Beyonce is the queen of rap, that's her, that's her thought. And you know what? This reminds me of something. I remember when Beyonce said that Tina Turner is the queen of soul. And all, and this was years ago when Aretha Franklin was still alive. And I remember Aretha Franklin and what's her name, Patti LaBelle. They were all upset that Beyonce on stage called Tina Turner the queen of soul. And Beyonce's mom responded at that time and said, hey, to Beyonce, Tina is the queen of soul. She can decide herself who is the queen of soul. That's her decision. That's her feelings. That's it. Like, leave it there. So, but the other people are like, hold on, how are you just going to pick Tina? You know, so this is, this is funny. Now, Beyonce probably at home thinking, how did I get in this? <laughs> And they didn't draw Jay-Z in it with clips of Jay-Z talking about how Beyonce rap. Old, old clips. So, it's so funny how people have time to sit back and find those old clips and old videos. Like, it's really crazy. Old tweets, old everything. They go, they dig deep and find that stuff quick. Um, but anyways, that's just an update for you on some things that took place today on the social media streets. Alright, y'all take care.